newly elected Pope Francis conducts his first mass today. The former Archbishop of Buenos Aires, Argentina, the first pope from the Americas. The 76-year-old, a surprise choice to many on the outside, but now we're hearing he was one of the leading contenders eight years ago when Pope Benedict was eventually chosen. He is conservative in nature, also well known for his down-to-earth nature, taking the bus, cooking his own meals, even answering his own phone. With that as the background, what is next for the church? Father Bob Longobuco from St. Catery Parish in Schenectady is live in our newsroom this morning. Father, thanks again for joining us. Um, what can we expect in the immediate days ahead for the Catholic Church? Do we see any, any major pronouncements here? Oh, I don't think we'll see any major pronouncements. I think in the first few days of papacy, a pope gets to set the tone. He gets to introduce himself to his people, which is a parish that really takes in the entire world. So I think we'll see him say, this is what's important to me. This is what I love about the church. I think that's what Pope Francis is going to be especially good at. Father, I went to Catholic schools for years, schools that no I longer... I never did. <laughs> schools that no longer exist. We've, we've seen the declining population in parishes around the country and in many parts of the world. And yet, as this process unfolded, millions watched it transfixed mm. on TV. Uh, what, what is the connect or the disconnect that the church can either take advantage of or perhaps ignore in all of this? Oh, I think we want to take advantage of it. You know, there was something about that ritual. There's something about this age of instantaneous communication that we're all looking at a chimney for hours on hours and that people could still come rushing in and nobody would know what happened. There was nobody was projecting the winner of this election. I think there's something that ritual calls us to that's a lot deeper. And I think it's something we have to take advantage of because this is how we really truly speak heart to heart to one another. Father, we'll chat some more in our next half hour. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Thank you.